I'm going to be talking about my new controller setup. Now, the last time I was trying to use a uh, radio controller with it, but I've decided to go with an Xbox controller to control Chopper. So, my board, I've got uh, motor cutoff switches, so dome motor, left motor, and right motor. And then I've got a main circuit breaker and uh, the 60 amp main cutoff, battery connector, 90 amp battery connector, the saber tooth, the USB with uh, the Arduino Mega, and then this is the Cytron motor controller, and then a couple of cheap voltage monitors. And that's what I have on the front. On the back, I've got a main um, bus, uh, ground bus, and then that is a uh, 12 amp buck converter, and then uh, a couple of WAGO connectors to uh, make it easily serviceable. Now I'll show you how it goes in to chopper. So inside here I've got the battery and the uh, the main control housing there and it just slides on in so let me do that real quick all right so it literally takes just a second to slide it in and then uh, hook up the positive to the dome motor and then the negative right now goes to the, the circuit board plug in the uh, the USB for the Microsoft Xbox controller and then uh, plug in the battery connector for the battery and then to turn it on you turn on the circuit breaker down here the uh, voltage will go up to 12 and you'll see the Arduino and everything light up and then I take the Xbox controller and turn it on and when it starts circling it's connected so there we are we're connected and now I'm going to put the head on and I'll show you the dome rotation. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to have to make sure I flip this switch. So let me get the head on and then I'll uh, show it to you. All right, Chopper's head's on, but I don't have the switch enabled yet, so it doesn't do anything. So as I said, I've got this cutoff switch in here. So this is all twofold, one for safety and one for when I don't have uh, the battery connected. I can still move the head around. So I flip on the switch. And now we've got dumb rotation. Next step is to hook up the the main um, saber tooth motor controller. And when I do that, I'm using a modified version of Padawan 360. So same button presses, you click on the start button to turn the drive on, that's speed 1, 2, and 3. Click the start button to turn it back into non-drive mode, so that's what that means. And then each one of these face buttons will be a sound, and these up here are modifiers, and this stick will control chopper. It's movement, and the upper stick will be his dome rotation. So. Right now I've got it not quite full speed, but it's working really, really well. Chopper says bye. I'll talk to you all later.